here is how to create a swap data shortcut where you can swap between which line is being used for cellular data on your iPhone. If you are an iPhone user with dual SIM or multiple lines, this is an absolutely amazing shortcut to have, and I think you're gonna love it. So how do you get this set up? Well, lucky for you, I have a link to this shortcut in this video description. So go down there, tap on the link, and you'll be brought to a screen where you can go ahead and add this shortcut to your Apple Shortcuts app. So tap Add Shortcut. I already have this, so I'm getting a pop-up. Do you want to replace, keep both, or cancel? And I will just keep both for this video. And now in your Shortcuts app, you should see your new Swap Data Shortcut. Now you might be wondering, how does this shortcut actually work? If you tap the three dots in the top right-hand corner, it will bring up the settings and configuration preferences for this shortcut. And what it's doing is it's finding all cellular plans where all of the following criteria are true. It is active and it is not current data line. And that's it. Then when you tap the shortcut, it is setting the default data line to that cellular plan that we have identified. And this is really great because it means this shortcut will work regardless of what carriers you're using, what your line names are, or anything like that. It'll just work out of the box with no additional setup or configuration needed. Now, how do you get this shortcut in your control center and get it as a nice convenient button like I have right here? This is actually very easy to do. Go ahead and tap the plus button in the top left-hand corner and tap add a control at the bottom. From here, search for shortcuts and you can just see the shortcuts app and tap shortcut. And now you're gonna go ahead and choose that swap data shortcut. Once that's done, you can tap and drag it to rearrange it to a spot that you want it on your control center. From here, you can simply tap out and you have added that to your control center. Now, something you will notice is that new shortcut we just added has a setting icon as opposed to this really nice arrow icon. So how do you fix that? Well, to update the design of your shortcut, go to the shortcuts app, uh, find the shortcut, tap the top, and then tap choose icon. And you should already see this option for the double arrows just like that. And you can choose the icon, you can select the color, and you can change the symbol to whatever you want it to be. With that done, tap done, tap done again. And now when we go into control center, you can see it still has not been updated. So to fix that, again, tap plus, tap on that shortcut. And all you're gonna do is find a different shortcut, uh, excuse me, find a different shortcut, and then go back to that swap data shortcut and it should go ahead and update, and there it is. And now you have that really nice arrow design, so you can tap it, and it'll swap which line is being used for cellular data. There are two more really cool things I want to show you. First, go to the Shortcuts app. You can go to the shortcut, and if you go to the top and uh, click Add to Home Screen, you can actually add this shortcut to your home screen. Again, you can configure the color of the icon and that symbol that is being used. Once you have this set up, simply tap add, and now you'll have it right here on your home screen. You can see I've already uh, done this a couple of times, but there you go. The swap data shortcut can be added just as a simple app icon that you tap to swap between your cellular lines. Lastly, you can add it to a widget such as this or the one you see here on your home screen. To do this, simply go to your today view, tap edit, add widget, and search for the shortcuts app. From here, you can either do one large shortcut, you can do two shortcuts, four shortcuts, or up to eight shortcuts. I'm just gonna do the two shortcut option, but again, you can pick whatever preference you want. Tap Add Widget, and tap the widget again to configure it. You can either do all shortcuts, or just do custom, and then choose which specific shortcut you want for each button. So I'll do the Swap Data shortcut, and then I think I was using, um, let's just do uh, Set a Timer as a second one. And there you go. You now have that shortcut here on your Today View. You can simply tap it to swap your cellular data line. Or as I already showed, uh, you can go ahead and add this to your home screen. So you have a great shortcut right there on your home screen to swap between your active cellular data lines. And there you go. That is how you get the swap data shortcut on your home screen as either an app or a widget, or how you can use it in your control center as a super helpful way to easily swap between which line is being used for cellular data. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button down below and share this video with one friend because I think they're really gonna love having that shortcut easily accessible to them. I'm Stetson and I hope that's helpful. 
and I'll see you next time.